Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's the Patriots going up against the Chiefs. Larry, as always, it is a frenzied atmosphere inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. Gets fielded in the end zone. A nice little juke. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Try a little trickery here on the end around. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. to throw on second down. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And able to find Conley. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Now let's go. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he's going to be run over. Hit hard as he'll be marked down. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. All right, here we go. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And he comes back with one complete. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon. And that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So second and ten here. Looking to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. 
And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. From the four-yard line, it's first and goal now. Let's go! Three and 19! Leopard! Leopard! Working from the gun, Mahomes. Four step. And he will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! Patrick Mahomes with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter, that's when the knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. scoops it up almost like it's almost like baseball guys at bat people are on base in scoring position one guy doesn't get them home the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover they'll run it now out of the gun and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 it goes as a gain of eight it moves the chains Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Chris Jones. Able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 zero, zero right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. 
that was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Gun. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kevin Pierre Lewis coming hard from that linebacker spot. He drops him for a loss of 11. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They run again with Hunt. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Well, that second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Six and good enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They go play action here on first down. The Cowboys got it over the middle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Here we go now. 319. 319. Mahomes now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Hurry up. Here we go. On second down, here's Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he gets it down to the 32. The reception good for seven. It's third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. 
The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. zone now Mahomes a dump down to McKinnon and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 they get 10 more there and I believe that'll be enough for another first down it will so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game get your best players into space with the football in their hands that's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner get him out in the right, flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field now here's Mahomes and that is caught Touchdown, Kansas City! Travis Kelsey, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that right they, they have a script to start the ball game and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24 25 plays down two touchdowns early probably not very deep into their script I think that they'll stay with it I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive anything at least three points get that zero off the board Try and start this drive in the air. He's letting it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. That's an experienced DB picking off a rookie. And you know, sometimes those experienced DBs, they love going against the young pups, don't they? And I go back to the offseason, had a quick conversation with him about Hey, when you play younger quarterbacks, what's it like for you? And he says, it's like being a boxer. I give him a lot of different angles, a lot of different looks, and a lot of times, I just bait the young guy. And there he baited him right into the interception. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is going to be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Officially a minute 54 to go in this first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this trying to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw and a return will stop right around the 25 and that was a young pop the rookie being intercepted by a veteran DB and I loved our quick conversation in pregame with him on the field where he said hey look I love playing these young quarterbacks they don't know a whole lot yet so I can use my mind to put me in a position to make a play. Here we go now. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. I think you have to chalk that one up for the defense there. Someone right on the spot. Excellent coverage. Didn't leave him enough room to come down inbounds, even though he did catch the football. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. They'll go screen here to Hunt. 
And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and eight. Now Mahomes. This is caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime <laughs> he touches the ball. be accepted of course and that moves him back five now the point after try for Santos and it is now 21 to nothing Santos out now he'll kick it away That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. To the right side, and he's got Edelman. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Detroit! Detroit! Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now back to throw to the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches called the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. They'll look to throw. Goes underneath here to White. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They've got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? The whole game long, they struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> go, 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. Going for the deep ball. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, don't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. Now he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. New England on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Being chased out left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So here's the kicker, Caleb Sturgis, on to try the field goal. This from 54 yards away. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Green, 39! Green, 39! Now a play fake here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And some space here. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. Right, but he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Derek Rivers from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. to throw on second down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Hey, hey, hey. 
Now Mahomes throwing on second down. He finds McKinnon complete. And all the way down to the 35. A big play there for KC. 45 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Mahomes now on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. This is Hunt. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big... Under a heavy run. And down he goes. Derek Wolf breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Hurry up, here we go. Green. On second down, here's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They'll give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. <laughs> and the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Second and very short here, less than a yard. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it's third and short. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Trying to lay one up deep. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And, look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll try and throw for it here. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. It's out. It's 
loose, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Elsewhere, a third quarter score. And the 49ers have just scored for some more cushion. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They're right back out there after watching the fumble go the other way. Still in control of this game, but that needs to serve as a wake-up call because they're not in the clear yet. No, the message should be clear that fortunes can change pretty quickly when you turn the ball over. You've got to take care of it, otherwise that lead could slip away quickly. They go play action here on first down. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. So the offense has it first and 10. Takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They stay on the ground with Dixon. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Now it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And he rifles one incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Holmes will try again on second down. And Hill with it over the middle. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through it at the 32-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes dancing to his left. Finding room to the 20. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Yvonne, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And now look at him go. He's at the 50, the 40, 30, 20, 10. And he'll 
take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Now Sturgis on to add the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. Now it's down to a one-score game. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Over the middle, it's Holmes. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Chiefs on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Here's Hunt, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. All right, here we go. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Finding room inside the 40. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. 23 yards on the play. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. They'll 
run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. going to throw it here. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Hill. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively they burn it here with 151 left. Now that was well defended and as a cornerback what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. Now Mahomes. To Kelsey. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Patriots. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. The 30. And in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it and they take the lead. Elsewhere, Ford Field, they're into the fourth quarter now. The Raiders have extended their lead. A win would be their second on the young season. And that will make this a four-point game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. The hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. No, 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 no. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. He's back to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. All right, here we go. Three, nine, He'll look to throw. On target over the middle to Hill. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. They'll look to throw. The Connelly's got it over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining.
So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. Yeah, did he just clock that? Looked like he tried to stop the clock, but the clock wasn't even moving. to throw and he's got it it's caught for a touchdown and they have taken the lead here in the final seconds how many people watching this one right here gave up because that score they might want to try and rush back into this stadium <laughs> yeah. and now it's blocked now it's scooped up and this is a live foot he's got the lane and there he goes he's at the 40 past the 20 and all the way into the end zone. Oh, it might be the craziest occurrence in this play since the new rule was enacted prior to the 2015 season. And now this game is tied. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Green, 39! Green, 39! They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And now here comes Kansas City. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. I don't want to overhype it, but this is a big early season game, especially an overtime win. That can give you a big boost going forward in the season. It certainly can, and I don't think you're overhyping it because cliches go out the window when you start to play overtime. And you're right, the winner of this game now, that's an extra boost moving forward. And it actually is an extra hurt for the team that loses because normally you shake it off. But in this situation, it lingers a little bit longer. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. 
And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense had got two timeouts. Maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try and get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Play clock winding down. Mahomes to throw on second down. Over the middle complete. That's Hill. Hill's hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And my, how the tables have turned. They had a chance inside the red zone, punch that thing in and end it. Now we're going the other way. And it's real easy to just look at them and say, boy, what an error, what a mistake you made. But how about the defense yeah, coming up huge? There. Let's give them a little bit of credit, keeping their team in the game, because if they score a touchdown Detroit, there, Detroit. it's game over. Now a first throw here in overtime. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football it led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Now they'll run with Lewis. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a gain of seven on the ground, but they'll be faced with third and long. Two minutes to go here in overtime. We'll be back after this. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. Looking to throw. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Allen on to punt as he gets this one away. It's taken to the 26. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And they got across the 50 last time but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense. They affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Fresh set of downs here. the gun. It's Mahomes. Going down the middle and it's complete. And he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the play. Here we go now. They run with Hunt. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. 
So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. They'll run again with Hunt. He's to the 10. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Well, partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Kansas City, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they'll get another home date next week as the Jaguars will come to town. Meanwhile, for New England, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Pittsburgh Steelers. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.